Thank you, Dancy. Some excellent information there. Well, it's food time again, and last month was National Noodle Month. But according to retired Sheriff Dan Beck, every month is Noodle Month. He's here now to show us how quick and easy it is to make your own homemade noodles, just like Grandma used to make. Hi, Dan. Uh, hi. Hi, Jack. Uh, listen, you, the only thing that's different between this today and home is that you put me on that's a time schedule. That's how we operate schedule. in the kitchen. You, you, you put me on a time schedule. Now I'm a nervous wreck. That's right. We're going to have to do this relatively quickly, but it is simple to make, isn't it? Just a couple ingredients. Absolutely. The only thing you need is a, uh, about a cup of flour, one egg, a little salt. And they take about three quarters of a cup of your flour. Save a little bit. You may need it later. Two ways you can do this. You can actually use the whole egg, or you can just actually use just the yolks. Uh, my mother used to make angel food cakes, so she would make her noodles with the uh, uh, yolks and save the egg whites for now, the angel food cake. Now, is there a difference there as far as how the noodles will turn out if they're made with the whole egg versus just the yolk? Yes, they will turn out. They'll be much more yellow if you use just the yolk okay. after they're cooked. Flavor and, about the same? A uh, little bit of different flavor, okay. but, uh, but they, uh, they, they end, ultimately they end up the same. The texture on my homemade noodles is quite different than the commercial ones. They're just a little, little bit more body to them, a little bit more uh, substance. Ah. But uh, they come out pretty good. And you, get, you can't be afraid of getting your hands dirty here. I told them gotcha. today that uh, I don't know what I was going to do when I ran out of flour. <laughs> But Zach, if you'll give me a little sure, bit more absolutely. flour in here. And the thing I do is stir them up with a fork. I mix the uh, eggs in. You actually saw me put another egg in there. I actually, I put just a little too much flour in. Gotcha. Or I put too much egg in for the flour. <clears throat> so we're going to. Andy, I did notice you've got a, a wonderful, well, knife, but also. <laughs> this way you cut the noodles you on know, blue apron. My law enforcement <laughs> career, I have committed the most fatal flaw. Don't give somebody else your knife. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's already been done today. But huh? He's also got some sort of contraption over there I hope we can talk about. This here. was okay, a garage sure. sale item, wasn't it? Yeah, this is, it really was. Couple dollars, and you can make different types of noodles. We, we bought that. That's about a thirty, forty dollar uh, noodle. Actually, the one end uh, flattens the noodle, okay. and the other you have, can cut them thick or thin. Okay. Really makes a really consistent noodle. Mine, I very seldom use that because I just try to keep my life simple. Okay, sir. Can I have this? <laughs> got five bucks. <laughs> so what are you doing now? You've mixed the right. uh, flour and egg together. You've gotten it out. I mix the flour and egg together, and I got a nice dry batter here, and I'm probably going to put more flour on it. I'm going to put just, I'll tell you what, dump a little flour in here if you want. Okay, yep. And what I'm going to do is put a little flour on my uh, rolling pin. Okay. And put a little flour on top of my dough here so I don't uh, uh, get too sticky. <clears throat> and I actually, and you can t roll this out as thin as you want. They're going to, once you dry these, and you cook them, they are going to double about in thickness and size. Really? Yeah. And uh, that's purely a rough estimate, but <laughs> you know, very rough. Mathematical data to <laughs> But I'm the expert here, so it's my story. I'm sticking <laughs> with it, buddy. <laughs> so what I'm I, surprised that, does a lot of dough react that way? Or is it I mean, no, it's me, it's my noodles. nervousness. <laughs> what do you mean, does it? The double, the double. Yeah. Do, do most doughs, you know. Well, when you, when you cook any dry, I always figured when I cook rice, when I cook uh, oatmeal, mm -hmm. I always figured about two to one ratio. Okay. You know, it's a, if, if you put a cup of rice in there or a... Oh, that's uh, true, yeah. All right, now, where we are right now, and I'm going to put that right down there. This probably could be a little thinner, but I've only got eight minutes, so I can't <laughs> do this quite a bit. We've got a amount of time limit. Are you making a cinnamon roll now? Looks like you're going to roll it up. You wish. I'm <laughs> 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 what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this in half, and I'm going to roll half of it, and I'm going to make a rolled noodle. Okay. And it's so Let's tilt that up a little bit. Tilt it up and get my rolling pin and watch my knife. Ooh. <laughs> I noticed you kept oh. the knife on your side. This time. <laughs> you must feel insecure. <laughs> Went from the knife to the rolling pin. <laughs> That's all you have to do on that side. What I'm going to do with this side is I'm going to make some square noodles. I'm going to pull that out of the way. If you don't want to go through the bother rolling it, just take your dough, cut it into squares, mm. Cut them any size you want. My German grandmother on my father's side used to make her noodle soup with square noodles. I don't know what that means, if she was lazy or <laughs> liked them better, if it had a different flavor. Huh. So you just, but put your noodles, once they are rolled out, on a clean towel, and they're going to just dry there for a couple hours. Now, if you're in a hurry, 
You could actually drop those into the uh, water of the broth that you're going to cook them in. Now, would there be a difference in uh, the way that they turn out if you let them dry first or if you just threw them right in the boiling water? No, a lot of times people will dry them out just to, they want to use them later. Oh, okay. I'd, I wouldn't want them, you can freeze these, you can actually probably leave them out dry. I think with the food standards anymore, I think in eggs, I think uh, people would want to be uh, yeah. very careful. Right. Now, these noodles are actually very long and I could cut them or I could break them up. The only thing you need to do now is just let those dry. Okay. No, they wouldn't taste good right now, right? These over here might. They need to. We do have a finished product over here, Andy. If you take a look at these, these yeah. are the uh, the square noodles. Don't eat the raw noodles. <laughs> no, no. Here's yeah. what the other ones will turn out. Well, we're hoping for some Alfredo sauce, but uh, that's next week. That All might right. be next week. How's it taste? That's very I'm good. Try one here. They're they're just a little chewier than the regular. Need a little salt. I should have put a little salt in those. Uh, half mm. a teaspoon of salt would probably be adequate for that. Okay, very good. Can you pass some more over, Zach? You, I certainly can. Yep. And we do have some water boiling in here, so let's pretend that we are trying to do this in a hurry. We can throw them in through the water. Yes. Is that right? The only thing you have to do, oh. <laughs> leave my noodles alone. Come <laughs> on. You can actually just take those. Now, what do you want to do, especially if you're putting them in soft, which you, you certainly can. I've got a noodle. I've been, oh. Yeah, exactly. boiling but, water all so, over me. But when that water is boiling, just put your noodles in and, and uh, you want to make sure that they separate. When they're dried, they separate a lot better than when they're moist ah, like okay. this. And that's another reason. If you want to store these over time, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer after they've dried. Okay. Well, great. And such an easy thing to do, too. Yeah. Quick and easy. It took us what? We did it in eight did minutes. I, did right? I do that in eight minutes? You did. That's seven minutes, minutes, actually. I've got to quit sloughing at home. My wife's <laughs> going to give me another job to do. <laughs> so just another opportunity for our viewers at home to... Uh, just to do maybe a little cooking. If you haven't done this before, maybe you have your own way of doing it. A lot of people do make homemade noodles. Let us know. Let us know if there's some tips and tricks. Maybe Dan will learn something from you. Uh, so we invite you to, to just contact us regarding your homemade noodles. Still good? Yeah, they get better with each taste. All right. Well, Dan, thanks for you being on lunch, today. Huh? No, my <laughs> pleasure. Appreciate <Zach. laughs> Flour, Andy, thanks for attacking me with boiling water. I think you're all right. There we go. Now it looks like it'll work. I like your apron. All right, we're going to throw it back to Mark and Jennifer. Guys, 